Hello everyone, Final here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Final Fantasy 16. I think we'll be in for a treat. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff to do in this one. And most of it's probably going to be side quests. Actually, I, I, I don't know that for sure, but... I know that there's a lot to do, so first thing first thing we're going to do... Actually, alright. First thing we're going to do... Getting darker? Might actually be getting darker. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what items are available now. To purchase and or craft. Let me tell you a story, Clive. Interesting. Alright. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tails plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said it'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. <laughs> he were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up, or you'll have me to answer to. <laughs> But does that mean that she was justified in cutting that guy's eye out? That's what I want to know. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's Let's stock up while you can. I want to hear what she has to say about the skies. Mm. Hope you're not expecting me to explain these skies. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say it were the end of the world. The whole realms in chaos. I've had orders cancelled on me left and right, and that's from the few associates I haven't lost contact As with. As the old saying goes. There's opportunity and adversity. The market for sharp steel's more bullish than ever. I'll find a way to keep this place fed and watered, don't you worry. I won't let our little family go hungry, whatever the weather. Go on then. Rune blade, huh? Ooh. Go ahead and buy one of those. Rubbing me blind, you know. Rune belt. Uh, okay. You'll not find a better price than that. Rune crescents. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? Wait, I'm sorry. Is the sword it's knowledge you seek? Is the sword not pointed at the end? In your search. Those tomes wouldn't happen to have letters what in the them, fuck? That's a weird looking sword. 
What do I owe Diana? Uh, I need to. So, what would it be? I need to reinforce. Penguin insignia. So, reinforce this. You can thank me later. Reinforce it again. Yeah, that should do you. Then. You can thank me later. Ring belt plus two. I'm the best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. I'm the best work, but it'll do. Uh, that is great, actually. Anything else? We are buffed out the ass now. Look at those stats, man. Pretty good. Got 2,500 ability points. Upheaval... You know what? I, let's, let's put this back on the menu. I think... I need to be using this a little bit more, possibly. Maybe that. Shit, I don't know. Judgment Bolt looks pretty cool. I just don't have enough ability points, that's the problem. How much is it to... If I were... You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Holy balls. 4250 to master. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen this playthrough. I can't imagine. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's swap out Ignition for Flames of Rebirth. Okay, and since we're gonna have that equipped, let's go ahead and change to I have one. Yeah, there it is. Reduces flames of rebirth cooldown time by 12 seconds. That's so huge. Like, okay. Let's go ahead and get this marker off of here. We're gonna go look at the missives real quick. <clears throat> I'm sure that I'll have to come back and look at it again here in a second for more side quests. The oath. Yeah, there's still a lot of items you can get. Look at this. There's a lot of items you can get, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of game left to play, so I'm a little confused. Uh, on our own terms. I regret that both you and the lump had to get all tangled up in the wicked weave of my sordid past, but thanks to your meddling, I was finally able to put to rest matters that were left too long to fester. And with that finally done, might be I can sit back and enjoy this new world of yours you're so keen on creating. One don't need a pair of eyes to see the good you've done. That's nice. My lord Marquess, in your absence shall I watch over my new charges. Affording them every protection I am able, I am only ask that you do the same for his grace, Yote. But speaking of that, where is she? She's supposed to be here, yeah? Oh, there she is. Lord Marquis. You seem... unwell. I know His Grace has asked that I remain here with your people. But if you were to require my services, I could leave for the Free Cities at once. Uh, no, I'll be alright. Cole said it was an army of a Alright, let's, How are we supposed to do let's take a look at this hunt board here. Just one? Hey, that's not too bad. The Sickle in Dalmechia. The hunters of Tabor speak of a wild chocobo that haunts not only the nearby badlands, but also their dreams. For it exhibits a ferocity rarely seen in the species, and has ripped more than a dozen of their comrades from gizzard to groin, and feasted on their flesh. Oh god. 
The bird is far past taming. It must needs be put down. Alright. That sounds fun. Let's do that right away. Where did it say it was? The sickle? Maybe like... Give us a general direction to go in. Wish there was color in the world again. Like Everything's so drab now that the primogenesis is in the air. Whatever the hell that is. Turning everything into a Kashik and bullshit like that. Bullshit all. Oh, what the hell, man? I don't want to fight no war panther. Back. And everything's too pink now. Look at this. Okay. Now it's not, but it was for a second. Choke will be here somewhere. It's the cattery. Did say the sickle. And yet I didn't see anything in the sickle. Hmm. Very odd. Say something about Tabor. Alright, I'm gonna go back and read the board one more time. Maybe there was something I missed. Supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a cat. The sickle, they'll make you. Not only haunts the nearby badlands, but also their dream. Hunters of Tabor. Okay. I guess let's go to Tabor and then try and find it from there. Only thing I can figure. Maybe it's like around here somewhere? Not exactly the sickle, but... Yeah, hard to say. I'm gonna come over here and see if maybe... It's somewhere out that way. The free cities and the sea. I 
Oh yes, Come the on. chocobo that comes out of the wall. Faster. Lizards. I'll laugh if it's over here. You know what? I'm gonna check over here first. Okay, that's not the chocobo. That's, uh, some bullshit. Uh, but, but. Yeah. Stranger, wherever you're headed, it's back the way you came.
something tells me it won't be easily broken. I need that.
Time for making this town a welcoming place, but... Mm. Hospitality has its limits. Anything catch your eye? Thanks very much. Much obliged. Just a man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of... Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked. Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And I didn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Right, Sir Wade. Let's hear your plan. Sir Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, 
That force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. Inn's full. Don't bother. You think you can just walk in here? Surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. 
Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy, especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool is in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. There you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is you did it, and now we can build our new village. I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. If we're going to do this, we'll need help. And we'll have to find it. Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago, but when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, 
If you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find the village in Cherdra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. all of them.
What's happened? Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And... Judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me, and I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need.
know what you have to do. Oh well. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lost Wing? Everything you've built. I built Lost Wing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lost Wing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway, that they might live even should Lostwing die? I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Gotan's bales then, and quickly, before anyone else finds them. Everyone, Quinton has asked that you come with me. You can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Oh, fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die. No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. 
Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Too late. Are you all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. For nothing. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But... Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. You're no guard dog. Just a rabbit beast that you can fight down. <laughs> Is it over? It is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank you.
Thank Krieger you're safe. You? You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to warn you about that... that thing. And I hate to say it, but... There's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Lost Wing. My Lost Wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! to get back to Quentin. Quentin! Quentin! Look at me! Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinn. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. 
What the heck are you on about? You've got us, haven't you? Don't try telling me you're only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah, and all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. said it was an army of a cash how are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling oh indeed ah oh, i wasn't expecting you back sir you earned this Come again, I may have. More for ya.
said it was an army of Akashi. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling? Glove? 
But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Tells me Mid won't be needing these. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sala. I wonder if it was Mid's. Inside it. Sid's best invention. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Paul said it was an army of a cash. Break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestron. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. 
See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Clive? Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Ta for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, 
Obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Rodrigo's worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwan. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. said it was an army of a cash if it's knowledge you see he's a surly soaker
Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. Well, that's the embarrassing. Endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Uh, what's one vine? And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh my god. Timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Use the hunt board to locate an extraordinary marble. Anyway, like I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure my mic was muted for like, I don't even know how long. I could be wrong though. I just noticed that it was muted. I'm not sure if I muted it one of the times I was yawning. Or if I muted it 16 minutes into the video when I had to cut. No idea. I guess we'll find out though. If, uh, if I was muted for most of the video though, oh well. I guess it's not that big a deal. again oh, and you got better things to do with your time that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate bottling it up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right it brought back some unhappy memories that's all Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. <laughs> Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring he flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. Oh, sure. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer is another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very well. 
Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride, and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the Curse Breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is, then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Uh... Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Karava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Alright, so we're back. We're gonna use the hunt board to find out where this marble is. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why. Carrot. If you should come across a red carrot protruding from the marshes of three reeds, do not attempt to pull it from the swampy soil. It is, in truth, another root vegetable entirely. An exotic species of morble that uses a modified carrot-like vine as a lure to draw its prey close before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole. A cruel way for nature to turn these times of privation to her advantage. Yeah, that's how it goes though. Alright. Go kill us a morble. Three reads. I was gonna say it could be there, but I don't think so. Not with all that other crap there. This. It's definitely this. They made the hunt spots kind of obvious. They're, they're the large areas that are off on their own. So far it's been, been the case almost every time. I know you're here. Yeah, that, that that's red. That's not really orange. Definitely did not look like a carrot.
Ow. Not good. figure it worked but Got him. Marble tendril and a marble flower used in crafting. Uh, that was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. 
Slay a mightling for its eye. Look at the journal. Uh, blacksmith's blues make for a dravaz. Okay. Uh, mightling, mightling. Yeah, that's for that. Lost one. I don't quite remember. Oh, oh, it, it points you in the direction. How nice. This isn't right. We have to go through this structure and then out the back. Weird to just not have music when you're running around. But that just adds to the darkness of the world right now, I guess. The mightling. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. Ending. Hopefully, one will be enough. Yeah. Now we can go to Dravazd. Dravazd. ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. Wow. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Yeah, okay, thanks. Much obliged. Much obliged. 
That's a nice little town. So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. <laughs> you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Well, if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our deal? Shut you. Gotta search everything, dude. Gotta find the chests. Now. Excuse me. Should be enough to last us a few moons, at least. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up there in a second. That's my obituary written then. The man who closed the door. Aha, here we go. I like how it's always just like crafting maths that you'd like have an abundance of. It's never anything substantial. Like a new accessory that gives you Isn't there anything we can do to Giga help? Mega Ultra upgrade. Sorry, but if none of you lot can smell ore anymore, we're gonna have to start looking for new clients. Wait a minute. Never in all my long years have things been as bad as they are now. Without magic to feed the furnaces. Are you telling me they don't know how to start a fire without magic? Is that what I'm being told right now? I have some things for sale. The lion and the hare. Certainly. Here you are. Certainly. Farewell, traveler. I have some things for sale. May we meet again. Traveler. All right, let's speak with Zoltan Boom or whatever. Hotter, hotter, damn it! Oh. Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. All right. The gate's closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? Yes. He's waiting. Down by the gates. He is, is he? I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, Ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If 
this keeps up, we'll be ruined. What else does he say? I thought I'd made myself clear. Piss off. Yeah, well, I needed, I need, <laughs> I needed you to reiterate, okay? Mama, why has the papa come? All right, easy quest. Buff, we can't Go across the, the world, be told to piss off. Easy. Shut your hole. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yes. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. Yeah? There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So... I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Ooh. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. <laughs> Clive. Dravosh won't last long without its furnaces. Ooh. So, oh, geez. Do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Easy. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time Good. for a spot of hunting, man. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia.
Let's make this quick, shall we? Salamander skin. Nice. I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. Come on. Faster. You know, it's a real shocker to me that there's no cactar in uh, in the game. At least not so far. Maybe it'll be one of the hunts. That'd be cool. Like a giant cactar hunt. But I haven't even seen the little ones, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Since it's become like a staple monster in the Final Fantasy bestiary. Show you how to make some good fire. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Sometime later. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. I think I know what it means. I think it means that the crystals are not originally from Valisthea, or the planet for that matter. I think they were some kind of meteor that broke in the atmosphere thousands of years ago and the crystals within stabbed into the ground and started sapping the life force out of the planet. That's what I think, but uh, time will tell. Yeah, Travoshed is saved! Sorry about earlier. I, uh, didn't take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cole Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. 
Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The Cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. All right. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. <laughs> These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is... Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Back to the hideaway. Cole said it was an army of a cash. All right, so we'll just turn these in real quick and then call that a call that an episode and start the next one thank goodness you're back Taya looks like she's about to collapse is this what you needed yes it is thank you Clive I'm loath to give a patient Alicia but Taya's right Sometimes, it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain, and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. <laughs> Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. Rest in peace, dude. He's gone. Thank you, Rodriguez. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents, to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless, until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. 
But my mentor's gift give the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. At least that quest had some meaning behind it. Next up, we go speak with uh, Blackthorn. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have to help welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor hear of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Bit cold, Sunder. Pit cold, Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless nights trying to copy me, did he? <laughs> Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, about to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. <laughs> A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Ouroboros design draft. Diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt and all belts. I want that. Oh yeah, lines you right up with them. Craft that belt. So what do I owe the honor? So will it be? Stone tongue. Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. Yeah, well I have almost all the stuff. The son of Ouroboros. Of the sons. Uh, stained. Loin cloth. I need a stained loincloth and a stone tongue. Anything else? Nope. It just means there'll be more hunts. So 
Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Sometime later. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. My potion count go up or something? Bag upgrade. Necessary for further increase in consumable potency. Oh, the potency, okay. Maximized. You have obtained a file of invigorated Morgan Beard extract, further increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore even more HP, while strength, stone, ki stone skin, and lion heart tonics last even longer. Nice. Alright, uh. Yeah, so we're going to call it here. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you haven't already done that, please check the bell, turn it on, so that way you'll know when I upload a new video. We'll see you here in a minute. Peace.